You know that I've been telling you that KV Core is the best CRM ever, and I'm still, I still believe that. But there is one thing in here that I hate, I do not understand, it drives me nuts, but I want to show you a workaround today that's going to make your organizational skills of your contacts a whole lot easier. So let's go. All right, guys, so we are in the computer right now inside the KV Core. And one of the things that drives me nuts, and I do not understand it, is the way that um, contacts are organized here or the lack of ability to organize them properly. So check this out. Let's go into filters and have a look at what we can actually do here and what these all mean. So check it out, we got sphere, self-explanatory, right? The people around you, the people you know, the people in your life. Um, you've got prospects. I don't usually use prospects. Prospects like a weird kind of word for me. Um, so I don't use this one at all. We've got a new lead, we've got active lead, and then we've got client contract closed. So let's eliminate the obvious ones, all right? So we can talk about the other ones here. So sphere, no problem, get it. Uh, client, totally. If they become a client, they sign a, a, an agreement, then they're my client. If they're under contract, they go contract. And if they're closed, they go closed. You can arch uh, archive them too, but that's not relevant right now. Um, prospect, like I say, I don't use this because honestly, like <laughs> I just don't really, like I, like I don't know why I would have a prospect in there. You know what I mean? Like the people I add into my KV core are people that I've ch uh, talked with and people that I'm going to be actively, you know, moving forward with in the future. So prospect, I don't use this. So I'm going to just kind of take this out right now. So this only leaves two things, new lead and active lead. Okay. So let's kind of look at what that looks like. New lead for me is a lead that has never been called, never been touched, but it's inside of my CRM. So maybe I ran Facebook ads and they're inside of my CRM now because they, you know, went onto the website, click more information, boom, they're inside KV Core. That's a new lead, okay? Or something in those kind of circumstances. Um, but they've never been contacted. That's a, that's a new lead. So if I see this right here inside my CRM, I'm like, oh, I better reach out right now because they've never been contacted by me in their life. Um, so as soon as I make first contact with me, with those people, they're not new leads anymore. So this can't be sitting in here like, oh, well, yeah, you know, they've been in here for a couple of weeks. I've been, you know, getting them going. They're not new anymore. They're active. So let's go ahead and take that out, right? So if I see new lead, that's brand new and I'm going to deal with that. Okay. So that only leaves one thing that I can look at, which is active lead. Okay. But. How, I mean, how can you, how can you filter everyone inside of an active lead? Like, what is that? Anyone could be an active lead that you've talked to in the past. Are they an active lead who are actively going to sell in two years, but you know it for a fact? Are they active that they want to buy a house next week? Are they active that they're just actively telling you to go away? Or like, what does this mean? So there's no definition for this, and it's way too broad for me to be able to actually dig in and work my um, my follow-up system properly. It doesn't make sense. So uh, here's what I've found. Um, now, I've worked with past um, CRMs, uh, like Follow-Up Boss and some other ones, which for some, like, have all this built into it already. And I don't understand why KV Core doesn't. It drives me nuts. But there are three types of leads um, that I categorize, okay? And let's just look at them as sellers, okay? So I've got hot lead, I've got warm lead, and then I've got a nurture lead, all right? Let's go through those uh, definitions. So for me, a hot lead is defined as a prospect who you've already met with to list their home or someone you speak with that wants to meet you about listing their home in the next three to five days. So it's like, they're hot, they're good to go. I'm meeting them like in the next few days to get their home listed or at least to talk about it. That's a hot lead. Then we've got warm lead. A warm lead is defined as a prospect who is open to meeting with you, listing their home in the next 30 to 90 days. That's probably, yeah, 30 to 90. So like a month to three months. That's a warm lead, all right? They're warmed up to the conversation and I'm gonna kind of move forward with the follow-up system I've got in place with them. And then a nurture lead is someone who is defined as a prospect who's going to uh, open to meeting me 
to discuss selling their home in the next six to 12 months. Okay, so that's my three categories. And you can obviously make your own categories. I just want to give you an example of what I do. So here's how I make this work inside of KV Core. Um, now, these um, different categories here are mostly kind of useless. Assigned users, it's like if you have a team, you can assign people, whatever. Contact details is where you want to um, put everyone in, okay? So um, you can add them as a buyer, seller, renter, vendor, agent. So this is, you know, say we're doing sellers, rating, whatever. Don't worry about that. But it's hashtags. This is what I'm going to use to start defining people. <clears throat> because I'll show you how to set up a saved search, um, how you can do it through this, okay? So let me just show you real quick. So I'm going to go through uh, these top three. I'm going to call them hot. I'm going to go through the next three, call them warm, next three, and call them nurture. And how you're going to do that is when you click into a client or um, someone inside of your um, KV Core, Obviously, you can put them where the client journey, where that's going to be, but then you got hashtags and you're going to add it in here. Now, they're a top 100 for me, which is a whole sphere based uh, marketing system I have, but I'm going to add them in just for these purposes as um, hot. Boom. I'm just going to add that hashtag hot. Cool. Okay. Next person, let's just do the same with them too. They are a close client of mine, but whatever. Let's just call them hot. Hot, and then let's do the next one, um, warm. And the next thing is, once you start, once you put this hashtag in the first time, it's gonna save it in there and it starts to categorize already once you are going and warm. Okay, that'll do for now, so hot and warm. Okay, so here is how you can quickly pull those people up inside of um, your search. So what I'm going to do is whenever I'm looking for um, my hot leads, I'm going to go ahead and set up a saved search. Okay, so it could be buyer or a seller. And I'm going to look for hot. Click. And that's it. Okay, that's that's really all I'm going to look for right now. You can set up a little bit more, has phone number, has email. But for me, it's just a quick one. If I need to access my hot leads, be like, who do I need to follow up with today? that's what it's going to be now you can apply the filters and the search will just like come up so if I just apply that those three names that you go will come up but if I save the filter as hot leads um, you can also pin it I'll show you this as a quick link at the top I'm going to save that new filter all right now as you can see now I have a whole bucket right here of hot leads boom I can click that hot leads come right in. The other way you can do it um, is to search right here for the filter. So I could just go, let me just um, go to all contacts. If you wanted to, you could just go to hot leads and those three people would come right up there. So now you've managed to categorize um, your um, CRM into different buckets and that's the way to do it. I don't know why it has to be so difficult, <laughs> but it's just the way it is. So assigning them with hashtags and adding that button to the top means that you have quick and easy access to your leads. So you'll have hot leads, you'll have warm leads, and you'll have the nurture leads. And really, um, you know, there's follow-up systems that you should have in place for those kinds of people. Hot leads, I'm usually following up every day because they're three to five days out from meeting them or at least talking to them about something. Warm leads, I'm following up with them every single week. And then um, my nurture leads, I am gonna follow up every single month, put them on some automated stuff, okay? So that is how to do it. That's how to quickly be able to access your different buckets. And of course, you can do this with everything. Like if you were just like, you know, sphere, um, you know, like church, you know? So you could put in all the people who go to your church and you could add that hashtag and then you could have a button up here for it and you could go right there and look for them um, all at once and have a, you know, and then you could click and send them all an email at once or a text or whatever you need to do. So there you go. That is how you do it. And that is the hack to get around the lack of um, being able to really categorize your contacts the way that it should be set up to go anyway. 
uh, should have categories for those kind of things, but use hashtags to really dive down into your contacts. You can make buckets of people to go in and you can dive deep into everyone. So, you know, you might have, for me, I have a jujitsu um, gym that I go to. So all the people in jujitsu, but then I can also add hashtags to hot, medium, nurture and seller buyer and whatever. And all of a sudden I can just look up everyone in there and find exactly kind of the pools of people that I'm looking for. So there you go, another quick KV Core tip. If you like this kind of stuff, if you haven't been here before, go ahead and subscribe, do all that stuff, and we will see you on the next one.